What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to share with you two drills which you can do to improve your volleys. So in this very quick presentation, I'm going to develop your tennis skills at the net. All too often do we see players swinging wildly at volleys, hitting them long, hitting them wide, hitting them into the net. Today I'm going to show you my top two drills which you can do next time you're on court to stop this from happening. So the first one's called turtle volleys. Drill is very simple. The player lies down on the floor and they have a partner who gently tosses them a ball. And the whole idea of this exercise is not to swing. So as you can see from the player, they're lying down and they're practicing keeping the racket in front of the body, just not swinging, just not letting the ball bounce. And watch it one more time. And what this is really good, one, it's a little bit of fun. Uh, the players love it, uh, but it just keeps the racket head in front of the body and it just stops them from swinging. You can do this with adults. Obviously, you don't get adults lying down on the floor. Uh, we can get them sort of maybe their back against the fence or the back curtain. You can gently sort of feed them some balls um, and they can just keep that racket in front of the body um, and sort of not swing. So as you can see here, the player is just blocking the ball back, not letting the ball swing. Sorry, not letting the racket swing. And the second one is over net volleys. So the player stands very close to the net. They have the racket on the opposite side of the net, the hands out in front. And you can hand feed or racket feed this one. And the general idea is the player is not allowed to bring the racket back on their side of the net. So you've got to keep the racket out in front. And again, blocking the ball and not really swinging. So as you can see here, the player is blocking the ball back, not swinging and just deflecting. So again, really good sort of physical aid to use so the player can feel the net so they can feel if they bring the racket back behind them or not we'll play it one more time but again just a great little fun exercise little skill development exercise that you can do at the start of your sessions just to improve um the racket skills more than importantly and that's it so very quick short sharp youtube video what problem should I look at next? Leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my Instagram and Facebook at My Tennis Coaching. If you're on Facebook, we do have a My Tennis Coaches network forum as well with over 2,500 tennis coaches sharing ideas and content. Please hit that up as well. Until next time, I'll see you soon.